Hey, this is Sean with Delve in the Void and the Substance Abuse Council and every other place out there right now. It feels like I'm having a great time here. The Marshall District Library, we had the opportunity to grab up some youth that have a very unique skill set, a, a very powerful and wonderful skill set in beating the tar out of people in Smash Bros. Um, I had the privilege of getting thumped by this one over here mercilessly, and it got me thinking that Marshall seems like they're growing the best Smash players. And she brought in reinforcements, and I'm starting to realize that maybe the rest of the community needs to step their game up to be able to prepare for these two who I'm gonna dare say are future champions within our community. And by community, I mean all of Calhoun County. I, I can see you two wearing the belt, like <laughs> like tag team champions. I, I can see this. This is going to happen. Are we going to share it? Oh, because I can see you two sharing something without a fight. Yeah, that'll <laughs> happen. You've been fighting the whole time we've been here. I tell you, okay, you've been beating up on me, but that's a whole different thing. So help me understand. Like, you guys have been playing Smash for a while. I'm hoping, because if you beat me like you beat me and you haven't been playing for a while, I feel pretty guilty. Um, so what got you playing? What do you love about the game? And what are, you, what are you hoping to be able to prove to folks when you can get them on, on the screen and uh, put them down in the game how they're supposed to be? Well, what I really like about the game is, you know, the main competitive spirit. You know, it really gets from, like, casual players to you know, into a more competitive mindset. And it really brings out the most in people. And that's why I really like about the game. I just do it for the fun. I mean, winning is one thing. Losing is a way that you know you can improve. But when you do win, you say, hey, I did improve. And then you go on to find out who you lose against. And then you have to find out how to win against them. And the chain keeps on going until there's no one you lose against. That's legit. That's legit. You know what I really love is that idea of being able in that competitive space, still being able to be a good person and recognizing that it, it's a growth process. And I think that's the same thing people get when in all spots in life, where it's not just in video games or in sports, but it's in education, it's in your career. I mean, when you look at me and you think, man, how did this guy become so amazing at so many different things? Okay, no one has ever said that in the history of ever, but if you guys want to start saying that, I'd be appreciative. But like, it was thinking about what am I, what do I really love to do, and how do I get a little bit better at that and keep that growth going? So I think that's going to be really cool. The, so if you had to say something to the Smash players out there that are like, you know, I, I, I think I could beat them. I, I, I think I could represent my library and, and get ahead. Like, what would you say to those Smash players that are, are waiting, that are thinking that they might be able to take on Marshall Library and do something? What do you, what would you say? Probably could. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, you're the nice gamer. We love that. What about you? I'd say bring in what you got. <laughs> We're always looking for weak, strong opponents to go against. Just. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> mm, that is amazing. So, I mean, I, I feel like like we just need to get some... I think they need to understand what they're going against. We need to get some footage. We need to get some film. We need to show them what, what what's going on. Yeah. We need to play some Smash. Demonstration. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm standing. Let's do that. Well, look what we got here. Tonight we've been talking about video games, we've been talking about above the influence, we're talking about just fun, and we're going to kind of go into what's more fun than a Super Smash Brother four-player face-off. We're in the uh, select screen right now. I'm going to introduce some of the players, some of them you've seen before, some of them are new. We've got Teddy. Teddy, what player are you going to be using? Um, Inkling. Okay, you see Inkling. I used to be a King DD. I've changed mains very frequently in Smash Ultimate. It went from a Kirby to a DDD to um, a Mega Man to an Inkling. Nice. I've gotten pretty good at Inkling for not practicing whatsoever, so. Awesome, awesome. Andrea, who are you playing as? Oh, 
that'd be Lucario for sure, rocking the purple skin because purple, you know. Um, I'm very excited, even though I'm not very much a professional. But we're going to give it a go. It doesn't matter if we're professionals or if we're amateurs. We're having fun. Now, our professionals over here, we have Osiris and we have Lennon. And, yes, they've been waiting to smash all night against the librarians, against other friends, other people. They're going to have fun. Osiris, who are you using? Uh, I'm using Kirby because I've used him since my dawn of smash careering. How long, how long have you been smashing? Since when? Since Brawl. Since Brawl. Wow. Which, right. Is, right. which came out in 2008. Nice. I've yeah. been smashing since Brawl as well. All right. The, the all-star of the show. <laughs> I am using Rosalina and Luma. Yes. Rosalina and Luma. Yes. yes. Okay. It's a, so we've got, yeah, because... I'm just trying to use more of a wider variety of characters instead of just... You know, the very small three character selection that I usually have. Okay, cool. Now we're doing, how many lives are we having? What, uh, what stage and uh, what are the rules for this one? Uh, we have a random battlefield stage going. It's melee rules. I don't actually know what that means. Osiris, can you please explain? So I came up with the rule set. It's based off of usually the big melee tournaments. That used to be hosted. Uh, it's four stocks, eight minutes, and it's a battlefield stage, just random battlefield stage, variety of backdrops. Well, let's get smashing. I might do some commentating while they're playing. Let's enjoy this. Smash away. Nurse. I'm not good on camera. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> we have three Joy-Con controller setups and one Pro controller over there. Lennon yeah, is, uh, yes, she has a custom skin I noticed on her controller as well. No pressure. I wish I could use my one. Yeah, right now, <laughs> looks like Lucario, actually, Inkling, Lucario, Rosalina, Kirby. And if I'm not mistaken, we're in an Animal Crossing stage, am I right? We are. Yes. Good eye. You know your stage? You know your game. I try. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, oh, Animal Crossing. I cannot wait. How many of you watch the Nintendo Direct? Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm very hyped for Mario Maker. Yes. Very hyped for Mario Maker, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember I wanted that for my birthday. And I got that. Yeah. I had oh, that was crack, 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 crack. I know. Sometimes I have those moments. Oh, oh we got a final smash right there. We had that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it about this game that it just appeals to everyone? I, I know the reason I love it, but uh, Teddy, we'll start with you. Why do you like this game so much that you've been playing since bro? So There's so many characters. It lets you take your favorite Nintendo characters and just mm -hmm. beat each other up for sport with it. Yeah. Lennon, what do you like about this game? The wide variety of characters and stages. It really brings in the, the huge gaming community. Like from casual to competitive <laughs> players. Well, Cyrus, what about you? Well, I just like that, kind of like what Lennon said, it brings in competitive and, com Ooh, and casual players, but it's also easy to get a hang of. Anyone can play it mm -hmm. without so, yeah, being so frustrated that you're bad at it, which mm -hmm. sometimes you may, you may seem like you're bad at it, but all you need to do is improve. Mm -hmm. You lose to someone, you know you could have done better, and then you improve until you beat that person, and then you go on to beat new people, and then the chain goes on and on until you're the best. Out of your friends, I guess. <laughs> Andrea, I heard you earlier saying that when you play, there's a lot of rage in the house. Oh, 
How long have you been playing uh, video games in general? Oh, man, since I was seven, which was a really long time ago. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly how long ago, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are some of the um, Nintendo franchises in the past that you love that you mentioned earlier? Animal oh. Crossing, looking to, but in this game, so this man, why are you playing Yeah. Games? So what are some of your favorites throughout the years? Yeah, um, basically like the the standards: Legend of Zelda, Animal Crossing, Pokemon are like trifecta for me. Um, oh, I'm out, so I get to talk. That's right. great. So um, I uh, have been playing Pokemon. Pokemon was my first game that I ever played on the Game Boy Color, um, so that has stuck with me okay. throughout all of the years as like top. And then probably Legend of Zelda right after that, and then found a love for Animal Crossing a little later. Later in the game, I didn't play City Folk okay. back in the day, but uh, New Leaf got me and got me hooked hard. So I'm ready for the new one this year. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It brings together a wide variety. We're over, like two generations with the young, or technically three with me, however you want to call it. Um, I grew up with Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, all, all the classics, but just now I'm at a point where I can watch everyone appreciate. Now, Kirby. Yeah. Kirby. Now, which one was Kirby again? Oh, man. Very good, very good. Yeah, angry we, we've got kids watching us play. Uh, is everyone having a good time tonight? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, awesome. That's great. And with that, we might be wrapping up. We're going to uh, keep some gameplay footage going. This has been an awesome night. Um, any thoughts? Do we want to do this again? Uh, challenge other libraries throughout the community, oh, Greater Battle Creek, yeah. and just Definitely. everyone get together, have Bring fun? Yeah. yeah. This is. I'm glad you guys are too. Yeah, great. So, Tom Morris, Sean Washington, maybe we'll be back later with another segment. If not, we're going to end off with. Super Smash Brothers gameplay footage. Sean, we were going to get him some Fortnite, get him a win at Fortnite, but I think he's in a corner crying. We found him. Andrea found him a book on how to cope. Yeah. Oh, cope? yes. Um, in the correct. I know Lennon and Osiris, they tried to get him to do some macaroni pictures, but he just kept in the corner crying. And Teddy, I think you just laughed at him and said, Ray John, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, he did. I said, Sh Mr. Washington was uh, was crying in the corner, and you just looked at him and said, Ray John. Ray John. No. No? Oh, Aw. What would you say right now with Sean that didn't get the win in Fortnite? Um, take the L. <laughs> take the L. Why you bully me? <laughs> why you bully me? Why you bully me? <laughs> Sean, why you bully me? <laughs> All right, everyone have a good night. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm looking for Sean Washington. Have you seen him? Oh, you know, I think I might have spotted him over in the stacks over here. Let's go see if we can find him. All right. Oh, I can never keep track of him. I think he was Every time I turn my hundreds in the self-help area. Oh, is this what you're looking for? What happened, Sean? Maybe we won't. Sean, what's going on? The ten dumbest mistakes smart people make. Have you been performing under pressure again? I didn't win. Did you dare to win? I didn't win. Did the kids beat you? I didn't win. Well, you know. I didn't win. I could help you with some good coping skills. This is me coping. This is me coping. I didn't win. I want to win.